Hi, my name's James. I'm a fourth dining instructor in Shotokan Karate, and today I'm going to be telling you how to perform your Kukusadach. So, Kukusadach is your back stance. Now, this is one of the more technical beginning stances that you learn as a white belt and it can be one that takes a little bit of time to get to grips with. For most people they struggle with this stance due to a lack of mobility in the hip. Now this is something that I'm going to cover later down the line. You can also check out my Kibidashi workout and that also helps to be able to develop the hip strength and mobility that's required to perform both a Kukusadach and a Kibidach. The difference between the two being that a Kibidach has your body weight right in the middle and a kukutsudach pulls your hips back so about 75% of the weight is on your back leg and this is why it's called a back stance. So like I said most of the weight is on the back leg. Now this is seen as typically a very defensive stance because it allows you to be able to keep your weight on the back leg and defend yourself with the front leg. So essentially, you're bringing yourself down nice and low and you should be able to easily snap your front leg up with minimal movement because your weight's on the back leg. Now the key thing with this stance is hips. Okay, like I said, the hips shift to the side to put your weight on the back leg. Now this is what most people get wrong. So they'll do their back stance here. Their weight perfectly in the middle, so now both legs are bent and the weight is equal. And if I was to turn my foot in, I'm in kibidach. That shouldn't happen. What should happen is that when I switch stances, my weight shifts back. Whichever side I'm facing, the weight is going to shift. Now this isn't the most comfortable position for people, but adjust your back foot where necessary depending on the amount of strength and hip mobility that you have. If you have dodgy hips, then you're especially going to need to adjust it, angle your foot slightly differently, you may need a more open stance, in which case you may feel that you need to point your knee backwards slightly rather than straight forwards. However, what shouldn't change is your foot position. So if you look dead straight here, you've got my front foot, and what should happen is my heels are in line. So as I step back, heels are perfectly in line so that I can step through my stance rather than having to step around. Like most of our stances, they're very direct, so if you want to be attacking or defending with this stance, you want to be able to control your balance and the movement that you're taking, so you can either move forward, back, to the side, efficiently. So what happens is again, from here, you're on your back stance, you step in, foot twists, and then you step out. And then in reverse, the feet come together, and then the back heel comes back. And that is how you would step in this stance. If you're shuffling, it's just a case of coming in and out. So from here, it comes in and out. Okay? But if you're stepping properly, then from here, in and out. So you should notice that my hips shift back as I step forwards and back. That's because that's where my hips should be. And what shouldn't happen is my hips shift forward and then back. And this is something we see quite a lot. So if I'm stepping from here, what we'll see is shift forwards, then shift back. And that's not when you're in the right stance. Instead, from here, it should be quite seamless. It should come forwards and your body weight stops right over the foot. It shouldn't shift around. You should have complete control of your body and where your center of balance is. With regard to turning, it's very simple. All you have to do is change your feet position. So from here, 
and turn your feet around and shift your hips back into the right position so you're in the back stomachs. So turning through here. And normally this would be with a shusuuk. So from here, turn. So head first, shift your weight and then execute the block punch, whatever technique it is that you're doing. So that's a very quick tutorial on Kukusadach. If you have any other questions about this stance and how to apply it, then feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my other videos. I have a series on the basics of Shotokan Karate, detailing in different stances, blocks and punches. And if you want to keep up to date to all of my content, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.